When people think Grand Theft Auto, it's all jacking cars, robbing banks, dodging cops, and bowling with your obnoxious cousin who won't shut the hell up, ever. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. However, there's something more to GTA than killing hookers, and that's solving the series' iconic mysteries. I'm Dave Control with RK Cloud, and today, we'll be counting down the top mysteries found in Grand Theft Auto V. Let's put the pedal to the metal. Ratman. Ratman was one of the most popular unsolved mysteries of Grand Theft Auto 4, and he made his grand return in Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, allegedly, of course. He's a half-man, half-rat creature that prowled the sewers of Liberty City. Every now and again, he'll blow his cover and shout, I am Ratman! Don't let these familiar tributes fool you. Ratman is not the hero this city needs, nor is he the one it deserves. He's a feral monster that attacks any homeless person or playable protagonist foolish enough to get in his way. When he relocated to Los Angeles, Santos, Ratman began hanging around more areas than just the sewers. Players claimed they've cited this affront to nature amongst Los Santos' homeless communities, beneath freeways and in maintenance tunnels. It's been said that if you traverse the sewers long enough, you may hear strange laughter come from behind the grimy walls. Thanks to the legend of the Ratman, some of Los Santos' less glamorous environments have become quite popular to explore. Whether or not risking disease and walking in toilet water for hours on end is worth it remains to be seen. Ghost on the Mountain a horrible crime may or may not have been committed on Mount Gordon. The proof? If you visit the top of the mountain at 23,000, a woman's ghost will appear on a ledge for exactly one minute before disappearing. Unlike other mysteries, we know for a fact that this ghost does exist. If you walk over to where the ghost was floating, you'll find the name Jock written in blood on the stone, which refers to the actor-turned-politician and all-around douchebag Jock Cranley. In his younger days, Jock aspired to move to Los Santos and become a stunt man, but his wife Jolene objected and ultimately kept him from his dreams. Rumor has it that while on a hike through the mountains with his old ball and chain, Jacques pushed Jolene off of the mountain to her death. Jacques was arrested but later released, so the question remains, did Jacques kill Jolene? If so, how did he dodge jail time? Is the bloody name on the mountain a hoax concocted by his political opponents? If only Jacques had written a book about how he would have hypothetically murdered his wife and got away with it, this mystery may have been solved. Underwater Hatch Off the coast of San Andreas sits a hatch emitting a yellow glow. It bears a not insignificant resemblance to the hatch from the show Lost. No polar bears here though. It may not look like much, but the hatch kills the player if they get close enough to it. Why is anybody's guess? If you get close enough to this aquatic anomaly, you'll hear faint noises you can translate via tap code. Tap code is the hipster version of Morse code. When deciphered, the message reads, Hey, you never call! How'd you fancy going bowling? We don't know the exact origin of the hatch, but if Nico Bellic's cousin found his way in there, we hope he never has a chance to escape. So why did you do this to me? Let's go bowling. Charles Manson's House. A mini history lesson for you. The 1960s brought about the prominence of Charles Manson, the leader of the Manson family, which consisted of 18 other women living in a house with him. Manson's cult killed seven women. The authorities charged Manson with conspiracy to commit murder, earning him nine life sentences in prison where he remains to this day. In the Vinewood Hills of GTA, you can find graffiti on the wall that reads 1807, with an arrow directing the player up the hill. The 18 represents how many women live with Manson, while the 07 represents his cult's kill count. If you follow the arrow, you'll encounter a luxurious home that bears some resemblance to the house of the Manson family's most famous victim, actress Sharon Tate. You can find people partying in the backyard, and if you brush up next to them, they'll die. It's unknown if the player character is cursed with the touch of death, or if the people that inhabit the party are apparitions of the victims that perished on the property. Maybe they partied too hard and you came along at the exact wrong time. I mean, I'm not one to judge. The Pistol Grave. The Vinewood Cemetery has an open grave. Open but not empty, because at the bottom rests a pistol. Fans speculate that it's a reference to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. In that game's story, protagonist Carl Johnson lost his mother to a drive-by at the hands of the Ballas gang. CJ decides they would like to bury his mother in Los Santos. In San Andreas, her grave remained open for a lot of the game, adding credence to the theory. That or maybe Rockstar wanted players to be able to nab a free gun from the creepiest place possible. The Native American Tribe Tongva Hills may also house a Native American tribe unseen by modern society. 
society. One of the first hints is a totem pole featuring an owl perched at the top and a sign placed atop it reading, Two Hoots Falls. If you're convinced this is something more of a hiking trail attraction, keep traversing the woods until you find a cave that looks to have been cleared out in order to be inhabited by something or someone. The walls of this particular cave are darkened almost as if they were burned by fire. At night, in the same area, players have reported hearing the sounds of the natives around them, from the rustling of bushes to footsteps to creepy, ominous whispers from off in the distance. According to fan theories regarding this tribe, they've evaded the reach of foreign oppressors for generations and find that the best way to do so is to keep out of their sight and live in secretive hiding their entire life. Now that is some master level hide and seek right there. Impending Zombie Apocalypse in Lester's house, you can see that he's got quite a few allusions to zombies on his wall, but this doesn't appear to be out of an appreciation for George Romero films. If you look hard enough, you'll find two archive boxes he has stored. One labeled Assassinations, which the player can take on in the game, while the other is labeled Zombie Outbreaks. Considering how on top of everything Lester is, he probably has a hunch that the zombies will soon inherit the Earth and has spent time preparing for the worst with a file folder full of secret plans. Because you never know, just like that. Another question remains, where will these zombies come from? Fan theories point to Humane Labs and Research, a mysterious organization that fans also believe is responsible for other GTA 5 mysteries like Ratman. Many speculate that they developed a zombie virus. These theories propose that the zombie virus is the package that Michael steals in the mission monkey business. When the coroners are examining Michael's dead body in the mission Dead Man Walking, they seriously believe that Michael is reanimating when he wakes up. This particular moment leads us to think that either reanimating animation and zombies are a plausible concept in the GTA universe, or these guys are just, you know, idiots. The Jackal Oftentimes, players find themselves wandering the cruel and unforgiving desert landscape only to die out of nowhere. One of these explanations is the presence of jackals in the game, but these aren't your average jackals, oh no. Those who have encountered this beast claim that it can easily be identified by the disturbing and unique noise it makes, which sounds like something akin to a demon mixed with a dog. This is actually pretty funny when you realize that jackals have been used as a symbol of Satan and death throughout Christian mythology, and the very off chance you happen to find it, or it finds you, you have basically no hope of ending it before it can end you. This is all thanks to the fact that the Jackal runs at supernatural speed so high and kills the players so quickly, it seems like you've died of a heart attack. To make matters more challenging in regards to both survival and proving the damn thing exists, there is claim that the creature will not appear if you're sporting an invincibility cheat. Despite a lack of solid visual evidence over the years, the vast amount of animals featured in the game show that it's not that far of a stretch to believe that a Jackal is hiding out there somewhere in the game's code, waiting to ruin your desert trek. There you have it, folks. Part 1 of the Top Mysteries in Grand Theft Auto 5. We've got more on the way in Part 2, so stay tuned. Which one had you stumped? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to slap a like on it. If you want to see more content like this, smack that subscribe button to be the first to know when new videos will be dropping, and be sure to like us on Facebook. You'll find a link below. Thanks for watching.